All right, welcome inside Paul Brown Stadium. Paul Daniel Jr. and Jim Rossar, senior Bengals beat writers for the Cincinnati Inquirer, Cincinnati.com. This week, the Browns come to town. Yeah. It's a little different than going to New England. <laughs> yes. if, if you're, looking, you're on the spectrum of toughest tasks to handle in the right. NFL. The extreme on one side is go to Foxborough for Tom Brady's yeah. first home game back. And the other side is host the Browns. Yeah. 0-6. Hugh Jackson's return back here. You know, the Bengals have lost four of the last five. It's no secret that they've played some tough competition. This, when we joke around about must wins, right? Like people have been saying, oh, well, this one's a must win. This one's a must win. Yeah. And you just can't, you can't lose this game, a game that you should be able to easily win. Yeah, it's, it's a must win for two things. One, you, you really can't get the two and five. Um, it, you know, going to London, which is supposed to be a home game against a decent Washington team, but also, you know, Cleveland's 0 and 6 for a reason. Yeah, they've been competitive by score. Who, at this point, when we're recording this, Paul, we don't even know who's playing for them yet. I don't think Hugh Jackson knows yet. They're so injured, so young, in a lot of ways, so bad. <laughs> in a many ways, so bad. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just their offensive line has been a train wreck all yeah. year. And um, it, you're, you know, that's why they're on Cody Kessler. Right. I mean, where just Robert Griffin went down, Josh McCown went down. At one point, Cody Kessler Terrell went down, right. and then they had Charlie Whitehurst came in. Who they cut. Who they then cut, and then right. Terrell Pryor took some snaps, and they went back to Kessler, yeah. who who has played okay yeah. for a rookie, but he's still a, a rookie, um, you know, coming coming into this place. The Bengals. This is a get well game for them. You know, Hugh Jackson is really the one dynamic that I think that that you're concerned about. Right. He knows the personnel. He knows how to take advantage of it. He knows that these, these guys don't necessarily do well. And he's going to come in and try to run the ball down their throats. To me, I think it's going to look a whole lot like Dallas's game plan. Yeah, that's the one thing the Browns have done well, despite all of the issues across the line outside of Joe Thomas. Isaiah Crowell's, uh, you know, he, one of the top ten rusher in the league. He's averaging 5.2 yards per carry. When Duke Johnson's in the game, he's really not running the ball, but he is catching it quite a bit. So those are some guys, some playmakers, some young guys, and then, look, Terrell Pryor down the field. If he's healthy and can play, Andrew Hawkins, Bengals fans know about him too. So you're right, Paul. There are, there are enough weapons offensively, and I think Hugh is going to pull out all the stops. Not that he wouldn't the previous six games, yeah. but I think there is something to this one for him yeah. um, and, and wanting to get over and knowing what it means all the way across the board. So I could see some some wrinkles, some really goofy goofy things, if you will. Not goofy for Hugh, but from what we've seen, I guess, through six weeks. Yeah, Bengals fans certainly know what to expect. Uh, crazy formations, lots of stuff going in all kinds of different directions you don't expect. Uh, Bengals defense knows that too. And sort of talked to George I look about this this week, and he said, he said yeah, we, we know what to expect. He said whether we'll be fully prepared or not, we'll right. see. Because uh, you never quite know what to be prepared for when it comes to you, Jackson. Uh, prediction, uh, what do you got? Yeah, I, I think it'll be a little closer than Bengals fans are going to want. I, I, I'm going with 27-20. Um, while I do think it could easily be like the Miami game, five to six sacks and it's 20 to seven, I do think we're going to see you know some more breakdowns in that Bengals defense. Unfortunately, uh, enough playmakers for, for Cleveland. And maybe that weird special teams extra possession. Something strange where the Browns just get on the board. But I do think even if it's that close, Paul, it won't feel that close. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think 23-14 for me. I think you're still going to see some field goals. Still going to see some struggles in the red zone for the team. Although a possibility Tyler Eifert comes back this weekend uh, to try to help that. We'll see, uh, but I, you know they're just—it's too much. Right. Uh, the, the Browns are in too bad of a way. I just—I just don't see a scenario if they win. Now, if they do win, I'm going to be in the full like hazmat suit right. when we exit the stadium because I expect full rioting and pitchforks <laughs> and, and uh, the whole nine outside the stadium. Uh, that would be the real game changer in this entire season right. if that were to happen. Um, I, I don't think it will, but we'll see on Sunday. So. Paul Dana Jr., Jim Osarski, Cincinnati Inquirer. We'll talk to you later.